Howdy y'all. Welcome to the Jake Sotero's High Class Hillbilly a Road Tripping Show. Ah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the name. I did get some good suggestions uh, when I asked last time, but uh, I'm thinking about what about Jake's Tripping? That's it. That way I'm not really pigeonholed into any kind of one kind of content. You know, it is going to be mostly about road trip and investments, finding cool uh, properties and people with cool properties. But uh, we'll see. That might be it. But uh, let me know what you think about Jake's tripping. Uh, anyways, uh, Saga continues with this little mountain house that we're working on uh, once we started opening things up found an unexpected and unpleasant situation which you will see in just a minute but it's all good also I had some uh, friends up for the 4th of July which was a really good time and then also uh, at the very end we profile another investment that I'm looking at up there um, kind of an exciting opportunity it's on a little bit of shaky ground whether or not I'm gonna be able to pull it down but I am trying so uh, stick around and also uh, please subscribe, like, uh, make a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, because after my last video, I doubled my subscribers. I went from eight to six. So I'm kind of, uh, no, I went from eight to 16. So I'm kind of big time now. And I'm uh, just wondering uh, when all these sponsors are gonna start sending me free stuff. I'm ready. here at the little mountain house we're gonna airbnb this let's see what it's looking like here door is locked good thing i have a key just out my key <laughs> Okay, I finally got in, found the right key. Actually, I didn't. I found the right door for the key. So just doing a quick little rock around. Never mind those holes in the floor. Uh, nobody's fallen through those yet. Really happy with the way uh, those floors turned out. Um, really good choice, I would say. A uh, little barn door action. So we were trying to get ready uh, for the 4th of July. Uh, of course, my handyman right there, Oscar, said we'd be ready. And honestly, we would have. We were cruising right along, so it's not his fault. But we had one little problem. No! Okay. You can see right here what these little uninvited bastards did to the floorboards. Uh, glad we found it, but not glad we found it. So luckily it was isolated to just the floorboards. None of the supports were damaged. So just happened to happen when lumber was at an all-time high. No big deal. Hey. Hi. What you doing in here, well, Mr. My, Ghostbusters? I got my Ghostbusters backpack. <laughs> it's a termite buster backpack. <laughs> so we found some termites in here, and just like everything else up here, it's kind of hard to get people. So I got my super cool bro, Frank Spinelli, in uh, Las Vegas, lent me his little Ghostbusters pack and some loaded with chemicals for me. So I'm gonna. Go through here, you take this little guy, right? And then you jam it into the ground, and then this thing shoots chemicals out under the ground. Because apparently termites live under the ground, they come up to eat your wood. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Oh, 
just fixed that. It's my masterpiece right there. Let's go see what Liz is doing. All right, that rock's rolling right back down the hill. What the hell? You gonna get worked out in? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, I am just clearing this whole area so people can park here. So you gonna remove those bushes right there too? No. I think you got that, babe. Did a good job. You guys don't know, but there was a big pile of rocks right there. And now they're all up there. Because Liz is hard at work. What you up to over here, babe? Oh, mending some fences. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to level this little retaining wall here because it was all whacked out and sideways. We can have this little path right here. Nice, it's looking good. Uh huh. Got our cool little yep. shed. Yeah, those turned out good. All right, y'all, you're about to see Liz dump some. Oh, Come on. Heavy. You got it, girl. Don't fall in. The whole world is watching. You got to get up in the back of the truck. And throw it all in. They don't recycle. Just. How are you going to get that big garbage can right there? That big garbage can. Yeah, come on. You gotta get up in the truck and just push it. Don't. No, not like that. If it falls in there, you have to go get it. No. Okay. Don't. No. 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 Got some new flooring. How you like that? This is top of the line. And there's only about a 50% chance that you fall through the floor. I'll take those odds. So I installed the shower curtain today. Uh, mighty fine work, if I don't say so myself. So all you really need is a little duct tape plastic shower curtain and that's really all you need all this fancy stuff is just not necessary oh. all right current situation To feed all these hooligans right here. And then we've got the egg chef happening. That's me. One, two, three. Okay, I had a good time on the fourth weekend with some good friends, but as per usual, I combined this with looking for real estate opportunities, and I had previously spoken to the seller of this lot. It's uh, 10 acres that sits out in a beautiful canyon 
surrounded by greenery, water, OHB, state parks, fishing, hiking, mountain biking. Uh, really cool little area and I had brought my buddy out who's also an investor that helps to fund my flips. Um, but actually when we were on our way to go look at this, she had texted me and said that they were having second thoughts about selling and they didn't want us to have our meeting. So that kind of threw a wrench in the works. However, of course I followed up with her and it's been a few weeks and her and the family are still considering selling. So it is something that I'm still working on. Uh, but as you can see, uh, it's big open land. There's already a really cool tiny home on there that's actually really well done. And the whole area um, is surrounded by water. Uh, what you see here is literally maybe a half a mile up a dirt road from the property. And if you keep going, there's really great camping out here. And the stargazing at night is phenomenal. This is a dark sky designation, uh, which means the stars are just out in force at night. Um, so this is something we're currently working on that would check off a lot of check boxes on my list, which is a good solid investment combined with being outside near things that I love. And if you know me by now, that's kind of what I'm all about. So we'll keep you posted on this one. Uh, one last note on this property, that's a manufactured home. And I learned the hard way through trying to sell a manufactured home that if you move a manufactured home from one lot to another lot, it then becomes ineligible for conventional or FHA financing because they say it stresses out the frame too much, which who freaking knows. So the only way to really finance that conventionally would be with a VA loan or cash. And there's always, you know, uh, companies that finance manufactured homes just have a higher interest rate, bigger down payment type of deal. Um, but there's always a way. So the sellers were unaware of this. Um, they were telling me that they moved in and I discovered that that was actually true. So they did not know that it wasn't uh, available for conventional financing. So that did kind of throw a wrench in the works. Um, but like I said, I'll keep you posted on this. Still working on it. And while I'm thinking about it, this was brought to me by my good buddy, John, who was uh, up there with us on the 4th of July, and he knows I'm a scotch and whiskey guy, so he brought that over, so much uh, appreciated, brother. Um, and on a side note, uh, don't forget, I am a full-service realtor. I work in Las Vegas, Perron, uh, Laughlin, and in Lincoln County, I'm um, all over that, uh, Caliente, Pioge, Alamo, Panaca. If you need anything, buy or sell a home. Uh, I can also buy your distressed home at a fair price. So please, if you need anything or if you're interested in investing in any of these areas, uh, please let me know. You may never know. Maybe we can partner up on something. I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, smash the like button.